Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be for Lehigh Valley fans and fans. Just please continue to subscribe down below or up above on these use widgets to help us get 200 by the end of February. As this is going to be a preview on the fans versus the Utica Comets, is the Phantoms bringing Adam Johnson, Tanner Luzinski's back, Maxim Shushko's back down with the team. And then that's a good move to bring in the veteran Adam Johnson, who's had over three 10 goal seasons, one 18 goal season with the Wilkes Barre Scranton. A uh, penguin, so a rival is now a friend, so that's a good veteran to bring in. You don't make those moves either, in my own opinion, if the Phantoms don't realize they really are trending in the right direction. And even though the Utica Comets are 29-9-5, because we know throughout the season our Phantoms have had bugaboos and breakdowns in games leading to goals for the other team, hence the minus 18 goal differential, has been because of bad defensive breakdowns or five-minute to seven-minute clips of games that really cost them. But of late, that's been significantly better um, specifically uh, since December, but also really much so in 2022. If you look at the turn of the calendar year, the play's been much improved. There was some struggle bunny period, of course, of February um, that I talked about in my previous uh, videos, like losing to Bridgeport, losing to Hartford, and then you had a nice win against Providence in between, but then getting smoked by Belleville. and uh, But then you come back and beat Hershey, lose to Wilkes-Barre, but beat Hershey again. So two wins against a very good Hershey Bears team in the same weekend is a great way to try to get back into the swing of things. After having a tough start, uh, only winning one of the first four games of the month, the Phantoms then win two of the next three. So they're definitely trending in the right direction, playing much better defense. And all those whole gap things kind of did solve themselves once they started having guys come back. I'm not one because... Hockey players talk about it all the time when you talk to them, too, about the next man up mentality when we cover the games and etc. So I'm not one to really blame injuries on why you can't be as good as you are all the time. But it, it does have a effect, but it doesn't have the ultimate effect of how much they struggled early in the season. And even the guys have admitted that. But they got back, and I've said it in earlier videos this year, of if they can just start getting the winning feel going. Because they, they changed up guys. like There's guys like the Dark Pool Yachts that have moved on. There's other guys like the Fitzes that haven't been healthy this year and others that have moved on from last year's team. But then you have new players like the Hayden Hodgson who have come in um, and made an immediate impact for you and have been some of the best players for the team. So each year guys suck with Adam Glendening, who wasn't here last year, has been one of the better uh, defensemen offensively specifically too for the team. So you, you have guys come in, you have other guys come out. It was more about just getting the right feel, getting the right vibes going from the team, getting the winning mojo going, and they have got that going more in the new year. Yes, they are, they're a team that's still trying to figure it out, working their way back to the way that the Phantoms were a year ago, and I don't know if they're ever going to get to that level, because that team was on a completely different stratosphere this year, and it's a shame there was no Calder Cup playoff. But this year, though, they're starting to work their way back. They have a very good team that's starting to get healthy. you got Shushko back there, and you brought in Adam Johnson, a great veteran, and you don't bring in, for my, in my own opinion, a guy like Adam Johnson... Unless if you know this team has a chance to continue to stay in that sixth spot, maybe even uh, um, pressure the checkers for the fifth spot and, and move up. So the Phantoms have been playing much better defensive hockey more consistently of late. They, 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 they crapped the bed against Hartford defensively and Belleville, but more consistently as a whole of late in 2022, they've been better. And if that can continue, I think they do have a chance with the way they've been playing offensively, defensively, and specifically the goaltending. Um, you're going to be able to get into the playoffs. Pat Nagel, Felix Sandstrom, they've been mighty fine in net. That's going to help you when you have the Wyatt Wileys of the world. You have the Adam Lindenning veterans. And then if, depending on what the Flyers do uh, at the deadline or if they eventually let some of the young guys play, you might sw swap guys in and out. But this team, with guys coming back, it's guys are coming back at the right time. And there's going to hopefully be a continuous of a certain players coming back for the team, we would hope. Tanner Lazinski is just the first of guys coming back as he round out the season. We're not sure about that, but we would hope that's the case because there's still some key players on the injured list. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day, though. This has been a preview to the Lehigh Valley Phantom versus the Utica Comets, where the Phantoms have one win in two outings against the Comets this season. So if they can make it two out of three, that would be huge. As, again, the Phantoms continue to play very solid against good competition, even losing to Hartford 6-4, they still brought out a good offensive punch against a very good defensive team. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe and have a great day and enjoy the game.